How's your day been? Oh, well. yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, and welcome um, to the next success interview. Um, for those of you who do not know me, I am Shelley Shulman, a part of Team Elisa, and I am her business development manager, and I am her, let me just put me centre in the camera, and I manage her membership, You Can Sit With Us. Um, and I am here today to do the next interview in the series with the fabulous, I, I don't know how to introduce this, <gasps> this man, um, the fabulous Matt Boyles. That's um, me! That's you, one of my favourite humans. Oh. Um, so, Matt, tell people a little bit more about yourself and what it is that you do. Hello, Shelley. Lovely to see you. Lovely. Looking forward to our chat. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Matt Boyles. I am the CEO and founder of Fitter Confident You, which is online personal training tailored for gay, bi, trans, queer guys. And there's a lovely focus on community, uh, strength, fitness, empathy, fun, making it inclusive that I just never thought was really happened in the fitness industry. So I wanted to do fitness different. And I got into fitness late in life. And then when I did, uh, it totally changed my life. And I set up a fitness company. And I realized there were other gay, bi, trans, queer guys in my shoes who wanted to do something but didn't know how to start. So I helped them get started, build routines they love that help them and just have them feel amazing. Everyone deserves to feel amazing. They do. I mean, I'm still not at the fitness point yet. Um, people might get me there one day. One day people might get me on the fitness bandwagon. Um, but yeah, and I think it's really interesting what you were saying, that you you do focus on queer, um, gay, bi, men. And we have seen a lot of conversation in the Racial Recurring Revenue Challenge this week about niching and you know, they, they struggle, sometimes people struggle around niching. Um, so how easy was that for you? Or did you encounter any any hurdles along the way? So I used, when I first became, a, a worked in the fitness industry. So to rewind just further, in my 20s, I worked in marketing because I didn't know what I wanted to do and I was okay at it and that was fine. Then I realized I, loved, I actually really liked fitness and wanted to do work in the fitness industry. So at first... I didn't niche when I was a face-to-face -face trainer. I worked with everyone with the classic, oh, I'll work with everyone so I can work with anyone. But it's not true. You fall through the gaps because no one knows who you speak to. No one knows what your specialism in is. No one knows who you understand. And like, you're, now to, to clarify, your niche doesn't have to be who you are, but it helps, especially when you're starting out. Um, and But then after five years of standing in the park and training with people there, I'd seen other online trainers growing and getting bigger and I thought oh I can maybe do that but maybe better and I could that's when I realized I could niche because that was when it was about five six years ago I really found like fitness really just transformed everything about me my boundaries my voice and all of these things and I, that was when I realized I wanted to put my flag in the sand and say I'm here for my amazing community just because I've been there. I remember walking into gyms and feeling uncomfortable and feeling stressed and not enjoying it, but going on that journey to enjoy it, but also discovering you could do home workouts or there are other ways you can do it. There's always different ways, but saying, I, I get you that level of empathy is so powerful. And I always like, I always have to clarify it. Well, I don't have to clarify, but for my uh, peace of mind, I do work with lesbians and straight women and men and everyone because I'm not a bigot. It's just that my, my lived experience is as a gay man with a male body, and that's what who I can best understand. Though the ins and outs, <laughs> <laughs> the ins pre and outs of the male body. <laughs> it's pre watershed, Matthew. Pre watershed. <laughs> I really didn't mean to say that, but yeah, I think, I think we understand what I'm saying. Versus. Um, just as an example, like the female body, I've never studied menstruation and that does have an impact on fitness and fat loss and things like that. And I just don't know that. So I'm saying uh, a lesbian who wants to lose weight would probably work better with a lesbian trainer who specializes in that. Absolutely. Who has that little bit of knowledge. And the, what I love about you is your passion. And it comes across so, so well in everything that you do. You're so enthusiastic. Um <laughs> And I think that's really, really important when people are choosing what it is they do. So obviously we've seen a few, I don't know what idea to, to go with because they have so many. I think passion is really, really important. Yeah, it is. And it's, 
Yeah, and Pete, and that, that also is what connects you with people. If people can see you really care and it really does mean something to you, then of course that's going to be a connection that goes beyond just marketing or or even what you do. If you can show you've got you can, if you can show that that you care. And if and when choosing your niche, if it's something you care about, then it's easy to care about. It's not forced or manufactured. And that's yeah, why it works. Absolutely. Um, so we've got a comment here. I'm trying to almost unleash myself. I'm a physio, veterinary physio, and people just seem to know me for my animal work. And I feel like I'm always trying to say, oh, I treat people too, to try and get as many clients as I can. But then I think I should just stick with what my clients know me best for. The more I hear your story, the more I'm thinking, should I bother pushing it, especially as I enjoy the animal side most? Oh, that, I, was just, I was literally going to say, what do you enjoy? And, and equally, though, what's the most profitable? But like, you don't want to just chase the money, but what do you enjoy the most? Um, absolutely. Like, yeah. be, the, be the, the tortoise physio. Like, be the, own that niche and be that person. I'd love to see a tortoise physio at work. I would love that. And it sounds really, really interesting, Rebecca, what it is that you actually do as well. Yeah, amazing. And I can see it being somewhat conflicting as well, working on animals and working on, on humans. Um, almost takes me back to a film, um, what's it called? Baby Boom. Um, well, I think she was treated by a vet. Um, animals definitely bring more money in. Oh, it's a, yeah. that's a no-brainer. And yeah. also, animals aren't rude to you. <laughs> okay, they might bite you, but they don't mean it. And like animals won't like go for the animals route, Rebecca. That's amazing. Like if the yeah. money's there and you enjoy it, niche, 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 niche. Absolutely. So how have you um what is your main success story when it comes to passive income? Uh well, I've got a couple, and they're from this world that I entered so before before last year I was just in Lisa's free group and then I know obviously there's like different stepping stones of how you work and join the amazing Lisa Johnson world I went straight to the top and joined the mastermind because I'm that sort of guy uh, I had a brilliant year and because I'd only ever had evergreen products because most of the fitness industry does too like you could work with me as a personal trainer at any time it's just how it's always been done but coming into this this like amazing cosmos and seeing and discovering all these different ways of doing things. I was like, yes, I want to do a launch. I want to try these things. But just as a, as a whole in my offering to my lovely clients, I didn't have a lower ticket thing that was accessible to more people. I had quite, well, my, my flagship 12 week program is high end and is like amazing, fully personalized. And there's so much me and so much amazing stuff in it, but I fully appreciate that's not in everyone's reach. So May last year, uh, using one-to-many skills and knowledge and all the things I learnt from doing the course, because we get the courses, like, spoiler, you get all the courses if you join the Mastermind. Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, I'm not allowed to say that. That's on the Mastermind sales page, so that's public. Um, I launched a membership. So my company, as I said, is Fit and Confident You. I called the membership Fit and Confident Us. How cool is that? Absolutely. So they got access to the private client Facebook group and some other things like I brought in a yoga teacher and a mindset teacher and Zooms with me. And it was just really lovely. And from a business perspective, though, what was amazing. So I did it as a uh, not quite as big as a one to many launch, but I did it as a here's the lead up. And then we did a challenge week and it was the challenge was called from meh to motivated. And it was four different days of all these different things, like just like those small steps that people can take to help them see that they can do this. And yeah. did a brilliant masterclass, which was from goal setter no not uh can't remember it was like goal setter be a goal setter and a goal getter like oh no that no that was it it was i ain't saying i'm a goal setter <laughs> obviously and it's turned awful since then so we don't do candy yeah. jokes anymore but <laughs> so did a masterclass yep. <laughs> and then open the cart for the week and i had set good, better, best goals in terms of revenue and what I wanted to achieve in terms of reaching people and who would join. And I hit the best one by, if I went over it by 30 pounds and it blew my time. Mm -hmm. It was just set those goals, laid it out, did it as I planned, bam. And it just runs now. And I'm actually going to relaunch it later this year with some new things and like I do a, maybe another challenge launch. That was brilliant. Yeah. And then the other, oh, hang on. It's not even to hand was... <laughs> La, 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 la. my lovely book the fit and confident universe an lgbtq plus guide to well-being on our terms and that as well so even when i don't talk about it that usually sells 
often a copy a day and it just sort of ticks over. But so that obviously there's royalties from that. But what has been brilliant about this, and this is what Lisa and Abby is obviously part of it, who said all along, yeah. it positions you as an expert. Yeah. So many people now are booking calls and working with me because they bought the book. <laughs> uh, and there's absolutely no pressure to do that. Like the book is a modern handbook. There's so much in it. I'm so proud of it. And if you just buy a book, you'll get like, transform your life like it'll, it'll do what it says in the tin um but uh, like as a tool it's a marketing tool as a positioning tool it's so valuable as well so and obviously as a bit of royalties and every and like i do promote it as a spike and it, yeah it just works and in terms of um your life personally has it freed up has you know having the membership and everything else is it freed up more time obviously not at the beginning because we know we have to work hard to to get it done but has it given you back time well i'm not in the i and even then last year i wasn't in the position of someone starting out because i've been doing the online training for five plus years now so i have put in the groundwork i have built the audience the community the facebook group so actually launching the membership was pretty easy <laughs> and was just another handy stream to ensure the money has the money the business has money coming in to ensure that i can keep coming up with things and like the business can keep running to support people and to allow me time to step back and pause and like this this year i'm launching my first what well, launched my first retreat and again so like all of these things it's there's no one thing in the business there's just everything that makes the business run yes in terms of revenue but also in terms of amazing like growing the network, uh, amazing energy from people working with me, all of that comes together to like make it this, make it more than the sum of its parts. And um, like, but the passive income is so useful because it's just yeah. that, oh, if the, like, historically I can look back over the years and like the, some months naturally are a bit lower. Yeah. Like um, what's a low month? Uh, fe like uh, February or no, I can't. Well, can't remember my numbers, but like even months when number of new clients coming in to say do a, a twelve week program is not is seasonally less than normal anyway. Yeah. There's a bit of passive income coming in from the book and from the membership as well, so it's really valuable. Yeah, so it levels it all out. I mean, I I remember it from my wedding cake days. You know, set, but once we got past October, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had we had the odd wedding, and that was it. And so it helped to even out that almost like feast and feast and famine you know yeah. i would have, I'd, I'd be living my best life <laughs> june to august um all this money was coming in and then in october i was like oh yeah perhaps i should have saved some of that and not bought another handbag and ah. so having those passive income streams really does and it's it's just having different income streams we don't always say that it's to replace no. something else it's, it's additional um, income streams and it's great to see that the challenge launch worked for you as well because obviously that's what we were talking about this morning yes. on the challenge and how they would plan out their own launch as well and I think challenge launches can be really really fun oh I loved it and I'd never done one before and actually it really <laughs> I don't know if you can tell really plays to my personality uh, so I <laughs> really um and it was a five-figure launch which was amazing oh. as well like it is absolutely the numbers so what advice would you give to anybody who is currently going through the Race to Recurring Revenue Challenge? They've got to day four and they're just a bit like, this seems like a bit too much hard work for me. Mm. Um, first of all, well done for getting to day four. Um, I'm going to, I'll say what I say to my fitness clients as well, which is baby steps. Baby steps mean you can always you can always take baby steps, but they're never off putting, but they keep you moving forwards. Do something like one small thing. So with the client, maybe it's go for a five minute walk if they're really in a slump or just or just yeah. they or they're or they're just starting to work with me and they've never done anything before. And yes, it, I know it can feel daunting. And obviously it's my job to make it as accessible and fun. And I think that's yeah. what Lisa and you guys do so brilliantly with this, the building of the of the challenge. Uh but but here's the thing, like, uh, I think Lisa says this, it isn't for everyone. And like, if you get to this, you don't have to force it if it's if it's not sitting right for you right now. Maybe right now isn't the right time. And that's OK. Like not being hard on yourself if you're juggling lots of things. But at the same time, like if, if you've got to day four, it's pretty amazing. And the, so there's a spark in there. 
and I know we sometimes have those mind monkeys or thing or whatever they are. Um, especially if, we, if, like, I know as well, if I have ideas that I think are great, which I do all the time, too many sometimes, but it, then I, if I don't act on them, if I sit with them, then like the, I'm not going to say the sensible or the voice of reason, but I, you can lose the momentum. This, yeah. like, this week and next week with the masterclass is a gift ride this this way yeah. this energy of people of lisa of you of putting good stuff out like everything like lisa just attracts good people doing good things with her her integrity and that was what obviously attracted me to her as well because the, there's some shady practices in the fitness industry yeah. and i always just wanted to yeah. as, as possible about everything that i do um like if you're here watching this you're a good person i believe that you'll have something good that Yes, and the thing is, you don't have to change the world. It's okay to want to do good stuff that that benefits you as well. Don't feel bad about that. But take, do you know, actually another thing that really helps, map out the small steps you can take. Because when it's all up here, around here, it's sort of floating around in a cloud and you're like, and it can feel huge. But actually, so okay, you've got your thing you want to do, with your, your passions you're good at. You've got your uh, name of your freebie. You've got the other bits and bobs sort of coming together like even if you've got no business experience you could put on a piece of paper you could start brainstorming what might i need or what could i do or who could i speak to like could i start a facebook group like i don't want to get people ahead of themselves but there's there's always something you can do and that, and, yeah and when we do take action that's how we change things and that's how we feel good about ourselves that's how we get that little dopamine hit of i did something and you get rewarded and then you want it more and you do it again and again and again, and again and do, love a dopamine hit <laughs> Um, and that's the thing. So even if you have got to day four and you've gone, but I've, I'm not, you know, I've, I'm still um, a bit behind. There is no behind. Everybody is doing this in their own time. You've got till Monday anyway, if you're doing it to enter to get that Dior. If I could enter for the Dior, trust me, I would be doing this challenge again. Um, you've still got until Monday to do that. So you've got the time over the weekend to be letting it percolate, having to think about what you can do. Can I just say what you just said about there is no behind? I genuinely yeah. say that to my clients all the time. Like, we, there isn't a, a, a date when your fitness has to be perfected or when your business has to be perfected or you have to have figured it all out. It's just doing, and the more you do it on your terms, the more it will feel right and do it in your way. Um, and like, and equally, okay, yes, the prizes are brilliant, but if a deal like a deal handbag one way or the other other isn't going to change your life but nailing and really like and getting this idea and this passion you have inside you and starting to see that come together that will change your life and if you need a bit longer than monday to do so that's okay absolutely and i think it's really important as well because i think when we say behind it's like well behind who yeah by what we're judging ourselves that that person that we're behind might be 10 years ahead in their journey so of course we we are going to be behind them aren't we because they've got 10 years you know of doing stuff and so we do need to you know use this weekend just to take some time get your notepad let those ideas sink the group is open the team will be checking in over the weekend so that you can come in and ask those questions we will still be there even though it's the weekend we'll still be checking in on you helping you through making sure that you're okay so don't be afraid to ask questions um, Matt, it's been absolutely wonderful having you on. Thanks, my I pleasure. To Matt. Um, where can people find you if they want to find out more about you and your fabulous self? Oh, bless your cotton socks, Shelley. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Fitter You Global, Y O U, Fitter Y O U, Fitter You Global on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, basically. And you could buy my book on, 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 on Amazon. Treat yourself. It's really good. I love it. Even if you're not gay, like, it'll help anyone. I love that you said special cotton socks because I was having a conversation about that with my daughter's boyfriend yesterday and he thinks it's special cotton buds. So I'm really glad you... <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. So Just on that you clear out your ear with, it's not them. Well, who knows? Who knows? We they... know, Shelley. We know. It's <laughs> socks. It's definitely socks. Definitely socks. On that note, guys, I am going to love you and leave you. Like I say, the group is open Everything is available on replay. Go and check the guide. It's all in there. Check the housekeeping guide where you can catch up. And Lisa will see you on Monday at the Masterclass at 8 o'clock. Um, it's going to be a good one. You're not going to want to miss it. But until then, we'll see you soon.
Bye, guys. Bye.